Hi Taurus, good morning. This is going to be your Leo season message. Okay, this can apply if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, or rising. Take what resonates, leave what does not, and be sure to uh, flip the script, reverse the roles, and place yourself on whatever the story, whatever side of the story you fit on. Okay, so let's get an overall message for what Taurus can expect. So your oh ooh. So your overall message is the three of swords. Yikes, Taurus. Okay. So this is the overall energy for Leo season for you guys. It doesn't have to be, okay? Again, you know, everybody has free will. So this could be a warning message for some of you guys, right? With the seven of swords in reverse, try not to deceive yourself in regards to a new beginning, okay? There could be a false start with something. Somebody could be taking back a, a proposal, a commitment. This could be with a cancer or maybe something is just not going to move forward and you guys may be forced to move on and move away. And this may take a hit to your confidence, okay? Especially your inner child here, okay? If you guys have inner child wounds of abandonment and rejection, and also the could be dealing with the Pisces as well. And you, but you guys have known on the lawn that you should have walked away from somebody, not looked back, but maybe yeah, something is definitely at a nine eight of cups reverse, the nine of swords here, and the death card. Something should have been over, but it could you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but maybe you were holding on to this. But this person was inconsistent in and out. It just wasn't, it could have just been sexual based. Maybe that's just how they treated you, whether they felt more about you or not. What if they had been showing you is this, okay? So you may, it could be a Capricorn. And then we have Hermit Virgo energy. So yeah, you guys needed to drop this and we get back into balance and focus on yourself. Try not to do anything. Try not to do anything emotionally rash here. Yeah, fool in reverse is Aries energy. Yeah, some of you guys, yeah, they could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Anyways, that was a lot. But your overall energy here is Three of Swords for Leo season. Okay, so again, it doesn't have to be that way. Try not to dilute yourself. You know, see people as they are and as what they have shown you and what they're currently showing you. Somebody here with this Knight of Cups in reverse is very insincere. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay, this you need to love yourself. You're going to have to let go of this person or these people, especially if, you're already, especially if you've already dealt with them before. Let them go. Love yourself first. You know, love on yourself so you can get a new love, a new batch, a new energy, so you can stop recycling and repeating the same things just in different bodies or with the same people. Okay? Why? You know, you don't have to, you don't, this doesn't have to be your energy. This doesn't have to be what you go through, okay? Some of you guys may just be feeling sad and betrayed because, you know, you have to let go of this person. Or maybe you just, you know, you're, you could be grieving during, um, during, uh, for some of you guys, this is karma, okay? Yeah, definitely could be dealing with an Aries or an Emperor or your a divine counterpart. Yeah, some of you guys are in the twin flame connection here, but the Empress is in reverse. So you guys aren't, and you guys, Empress is Taurus and Libra. So you guys aren't in your energy. Okay, some of you guys could have been trying to control the situation, control where things fit, and that's why something came to a complete stop and a complete halt, okay? Let your guides and your ancestors get things into alignment, whether it's with or without this person. Yeah, this could be about a mother figure here, okay? Um, somebody, yeah, anyways, it could be somebody's baby mother, baby father, whatever. But let's see what's going on for Taurus. I'm going to rise in for a Leo season. Yeah, we have high, I'm going to take these because we have high priestess here. And then we have page of cups in reverse. A lot of you guys aren't listening. And, you know, I didn't take, I don't, I didn't have, I didn't, I'm not going to flip that in upright. Because I just feel like you guys need to take heed to something. A lot of you guys are not listening to your intuition here. A lot of you guys know somebody's being insens is insincere. Maybe you're very sexually attracted to this person or vice versa. Maybe you guys have good sex together. But that's basically it. Okay, some you somebody here, this could be a Pisces. Somebody here, you guys, somebody here or Leo, some of you guys know what's going on with somebody. You guys know the truth about this person, about this marriage, this home dynamic, this family dynamic, okay? Whether it's family, a lover, a friend, you guys know what's going on here. And that's why if you guys are listening to your intuition, that's why you're gonna end up in that three of swords. You don't have to. Again, that could just be a warning sign for some of you guys it doesn't have to be this person may have you in a third party maybe they can't they you know somebody here could also be comparing you to someone else so this could be you doing this okay somebody could also be acting hot and cold with you one minute they they're warm and the next minute they're cold the next minute they're ghosting you like let it go 
you guys may give this person one last chance and then you may realize during Leo's page of cups in reverse again, you may realize you have to walk away from this person completely, entirely for good, forever. If you have kids with this person, you're going to have to just learn and find a way to just co-parent and leave it at that. Leave it at that, okay? Listen to your intuition. Why is the high priestess here for Taurus? You guys are conf you guys some of you guys are readers yourselves, okay? You guys are very intuitive though. Okay, five of cups. You know something, you know something, you know you're gonna regret something. You know. You know, or you know somebody else is a, is gonna regret something. You guys know. The owl there, come on, you guys know. You guys maybe it could be your ego, it could be dealing with a Leo, maybe you guys have Leo placements, you guys know. Whether this is your twin flame here, four wands, or in reverse, or this could be a family member, whoever it, or a friend, whoever it is, you know, okay? And we got a six of cups. Yeah, maybe some of you, yeah, this is definitely somebody's two of cups. So this is definitely love or friendship for a lot of you guys, okay? But you know what's going on with this person here. Some of you guys, you know, five of cups, then to the six. You guys are stuck. You guys could be stuck on the, the fantasy of what could have been, all right? But... This person may not even be on your level, on your speed. So don't take this too personal. Try not to. Okay. I also feel like somebody there could somebody here. Somebody could be grieving somebody in a the family. There could be a loss in somebody's family. Somebody could be grieving that. Somebody's mother or a mother figure. An aunt, I'm getting an aunt or a grandmother. Or maybe a sister, but I'm getting an aunt or a grandmother. And this could also be somebody, your ancestors is looking at you like, girl or boy, we done fucking warned you and told you. We gave you ample dreams, ample downloads, all types of things. And you still wanted to give this person a second chance. You still let this person manipulate you. You still let them come in hot and heavy and then ghost you and then act hot and cold and then drop you like something's hot. You know what I'm saying? Like you, your ancestors or your in, your higher self, your, whatever. It's just like, girl, boy, come on. You knew. You knew. You knew. You knew. So some of y'all don't let don't have yourself sitting up in Leo season displeased and unhappy when you know something is just not working. You know you're not happy. Maybe you guys are stuck on how things were when you first started dating this person, when you first got married, when you first I don't know first had a ch first started your family or first whatever first started this job. It could even be a job, okay. Whatever it is, you know, it's time to walk away and leave something alone. There's going to be sadness and grief here, definitely for some of you guys during Leo season, okay? Especially if you're dealing with the Leo, a Pisces, um, heavy Leo energy, a Cancer. What else? A Virgo. I got, I saw Sag here. Yeah, Cancer, Aries, and Sagittarius, and Scorpio, okay? So... Or somebody with that in their chart somewhere. What's this page of cups? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Some of you guys have a Venus in Taurus. I'm getting that too. Or a Venus in Leo. We got five of or somebody that you got five of swords here. Yeah, a lot of y'all are not listening. A lot of you guys are gonna page of cups in reverse. Somebody here is also very childish in how they communicate. And this this could be you. Hair or font. Yeah, your energy here. I'm gonna put that off to the side right there. Into cups in reverse. Somebody, uh, yeah, somebody's very childish in how they communicate. Ten of Wands. This person, nothing but a burden here. Okay, some of y'all may be going through an emotional or mental breakdown. Be careful. Okay, try not to overwork yourself. Try not to. Some of you guys may be mentally exhausted. You have, may have a lot going on. Cups this could be about a child, eight of pentacles. Yes, try not to overwork yourself because you guys could work yourself into getting sick. Okay, we got the strength card in reverse. So this is definitely something that could have already, that could actually, yeah, already be happening. You could be dealing with an Aquarius too. Strength card is Leo energy. Yeah, ton of cups. Pisces, yeah, somebody could just be, somebody could just be coming out of a family situation. I feel like somebody here knows something, but they may not be saying anything. You guys need to get more information on something. Something could be blocked for you for a reason. Also, especially if this is something new you want coming in, it's blocked because you're not learning a lesson here with the world in reverse. Something is not, you're not closing something out. High priestess, you guys, you know, you're not, you're being, you're, you're deceiving yourself. You need to cut something on someone out. You know that though. Okay. Some of you guys try not to overwork yourselves here. Some of you guys work in hospitals. Okay. Um, some of you guys can work in the morgue. 
I don't know why I got that for a funeral home or some or church or something like that. Okay, somebody could be a pastor, a priest, or a priestess. You guys are very spiritual, so you guys know. Okay, some of you guys are just stuck in the past here. Okay, what's this? Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, four of swords. You're not laying something to rest. Yeah, judgment. So somebody may want a second chance with you, Libra, Scorpio energy, but something is there. It's not. It's not going to be a victory, and something is just. It's still going to be. There's still going to be a lot of mental confusion, and somebody's still going to be dishonest with you. With this page of cups, somebody is not being honest about what they're telling you, or how you know whatever. Or this is you lying to yourself, or not listening to your intuition. Some of you guys, if you're writers, or you do something that's very creative, some of you got, or you, if you, some of you guys could be. Some of you guys are clothing designers. I can't. Yeah, you know, for some of you guys with this. High Priestess and this Page of Cups. I can't help but notice some of you guys may be clothing designers. You see the hat here. Some of you guys design hats, scarves, okay, bathing suits even. Some of you guys are florists. Some of you guys make candles, cups. You do something. This could be some of you guys may do something that's very creative. Some of you guys grow your own fruit. Okay, you may make smoothies and things like that. Okay, some of you guys do something that's holistic or it's creative. Some of you guys may be having creative blockages at this time. It's because you need to get more rest. And you and you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have this in your chart or your Sag or Taurus placements. I got this for Sagittarius. And I'm getting the same thing, similar energy for you. Answer the call. Okay, if you if you have Sagittarius placements as your moon or rising or Venus, or you're a Sag or the Taurus moon or rising or Venus. May check out Sagittarius's reading, but answer the call. You're, you know, something is trying to get your attention that you're not seeing. Temperance, yeah, Sagittarius energy here. Six of Swords, yeah, you guys, something, you're, you're unable to move forward here. We got Gemini here with the Lovers and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. More Sag energy. And we got Empress. So be mindful of your money. Try not to overspend. Be careful what, you're, what and who you're investing in, okay? Get a, get a good handle on where your money is going, okay? Yeah, somebody is stuck on somebody. Somebody could be stuck on a Gemini or somebody is stuck on somebody from their past. They may want a second chance with you, but I just feel like this person is being dishonest. And you're going to have to, this person may know the right words and what the, the right things to say to get you to pull you back in. But you, you again, you're the high priestess, you know. Okay, this could be a friend or a family member or somebody you have a family with or have a child with. Or this could just be somebody you messed around with or dealt with. Okay, this person could be younger than you, or you're younger than this person. But there's an image, or there's an immaturity difference. Okay, so this was your um, message. This was your message. Um, some of you guys may have Pisces placements. Okay, um, but yeah, but yeah, you're showing up in your reading. So this is definitely about you. So. Taurus, you have a decision. You will have a... I'm giving that a lot for people. You will have a big decision to make. I feel like something... I feel like... Um, yeah, you have your guys are trying to get you to, to see something that you're not seeing or that's something that you're refusing or you're being delusional about. So listen to your intuition. It may benefit you guys to kind of stay to yourselves at this time. I wouldn't engage in anything sexual. This person could be very sexually promiscuous as well so you don't know where they've been and who they've been doing it with this is somebody again who lies they cheat they could have cheated on their per they could have cheated on somebody with you or cheated on you at some point you know either way i wouldn't trust this person and i feel like you guys know whether you're male or female you know something is up okay and for those of you who are clothing designers be or whatever be mindful of um cutting your fingers if you use sewing machines or you or anything pointy that you have to knit or whatever or Right, whatever it is, be mindful of burning or cutting yourself or poking your or poking yourself with any needles and threads and stuff like that. Okay. Um, some of you guys are going through creative blockages because you're too some of you guys are overworking, so you need to take a break from work. If you get to a point where you don't know what to design, you don't know what colors to use, you don't know how to do it, take it that means you need to take a break. Just take a break, okay? Um just put out whatever it is that you have and whatever is coming in smoothly. And I feel like that would be good. Okay. So anyways, uh, Taurus, take uh, this is your reading. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.